So for episode three, I wanted to go over something I've been meaning to either purchase or have made for the tractor. Uh, it's going to make my life a little bit easier. I do a lot of stuff with trailers, obviously. We sell a lot of canoes and kayaks for the, the little company that I own. And that's primarily why I bought the tractor, as you can see. Just had a customer here looking at this. Uh, we're doing curbside stuff right now, so obviously there's no inside of my shop, so everything's out here. But I, I bought the tractor basically to save my back, both for snow removal for the business, to keep my driveway clear, uh, and to offload tractor trailers of boats, and to move them around to our just 1.3 acre yard here. So one of the things that I didn't have was ballast for the back of, for the back of the tractor. I normally have either the tiller or the snowblower on it. So I've had this made. Um, I mean, we're not selling them, but I, it's a copy of basically the heavy hitch system out of the States. Not quite the same, but probably similar in quality. Um, not mass produced, obviously. It was made by a, a millwright. Uh, up in Sussex, but uh, anyway, I put the the I have the I match system. It's a quick attach for your three point hitch. Um, I put the I match adapter system on it. You see the the uh, the pins on the end there, and uh, there's a, a bushing kit for the the top of the I match. I added that on afterwards. Um, we had to modify this portion of it. Neither one of us thought about this. Uh, when <laughs> <laughs> when he he set it up so i had to have this cut it used to come to here and i couldn't fit my upper hook in so we had to cut that down had another buddy of mine down the road who's a boiler maker uh and a great welder too uh i've always been happy with his work now he adjusted this for me and if i had been thinking at the time i probably would have got him to build it for me too but uh the other fellow that actually built it was doing tractor tractor implement stuff already so uh I just asked him, yeah, can you make one of these? And he's like, absolutely. So anyway, this is it. So um, believe it or not, uh, our local Green Diamond, another shout out to them. I've been happy with the service and the product from them. Uh, their uh, suitcase weights, these are basically designed for the, uh, the ride-on lawnmowers and stuff to give a little bit more traction. Um, but you get enough of them, it'll, it'll provide a decent ballast for a, a subcompact like mine, the 1025R. So they had them on cheaper than Home Depot. So I was happy about that and I got eight of them. Uh, they're 40 pounds each and they just literally, they literally slide right off like that. And this thing works, he designed that or he did all the, the work on it just perfectly. So this will prevent it from coming out directly, the little lip, and you can just pull it a little bit and get it out. It fits perfectly so he did a good job and then the other thing that it provides is a uh, receiver hitch for uh, trailers and the, and the like i've got a couple of trailers in the air that i routinely maneuver in the summertime uh, as we do uh, pickups and deliveries and stuff with those of our kayaks and canoes and things so this is my ballast slash receiver hitch set up for the uh, 1025r so comes off, I can just back up to where I want to drop it. On the iMatch system, pull that little hitch, put that little latch, and it unlocks it. So I can do that from the seat of the tractor. Just reach around and, and open it up. Then I just drop the three-point hitch down onto the ground. Uh, the hitch will grab on the bottom, and, uh, and uh, I can pull it out of it. But now in saying that, I'll have to set it on a pallet to get it off the tractor because I think the, uh, the receiver system is higher than the, the uh, iMatch hooks. So I'll just have to set it on a couple of logs or something. Anyway, I'm very happy with it. It works very well so far. No problems. So that's our, our very quick review of a, a little thing I had made for this tractor. And I guess the other thing to mention is typically I would have the weights on the other side, you can have them on this side of the, the hitch or the inside. I'd put them on before I picked it up. But if I have them in there, they're out of the way and they're not in the way of my, if I'm gonna use this for trailer stuff and whatnot. Uh, but I just quickly put it on because I had to get this canoe out for a customer that was coming to look at it. So anyway, that's, uh, yeah, it's just an idea for folks. If you've got a, an iMatch or if you've got a tractor and you want a, a versatile little attachment, that gives you a receiver because otherwise you need a uh, 
uh shoot i forget what they're called the bar to come out if you wanted to to hook on a uh, a trailer or something you'd have to have that uh and it, the name of it is failing me right now but anyway this gives you the option really quick and and easy so yeah thanks for watching we'll uh see you again soon